Mario versus Donkey Kong remake. They're 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 churning out some remakes, aren't they? Yeah, I've I've played a little bit of those games, and I I think they're good. I mean, they're good Game Boy games, and so to remaster them. But I guess the argument is like this is the fact that they're remastering and remaking a bunch of stuff is kind of like a a final year of a console sort of move. Is that true? I I would guess so. Um, but like Mario versus Donkey Kong, like for the Game Boy Advance, I always thought looked really ugly anyway. Mm. So I actually kind of like their remaking it because they did that. Like it was kind of like a pre-rendered, almost like um, the pre-rendered models, but they like pixelated them. So I'm I'll, I'll play the Switch. Uh, re- I'll I'll probably get that and play it because I, I I like the original Donkey Kong for Game Boy the that style. Uh, one I will not really check out is F Zero Ninety Nine. I'm mm. <laughs> I, I I can't do any of those ninety nine games. I'm like. It's too ah. stressful for me. You didn't like the it's Mario not... 35? I never tried it, actually. I, oh, I, I, so did, I missed it. I missed it completely. By the time I wanted to check it out, it's gone. I, it might be like my favorite Nintendo Switch game, honestly. I really liked it. <laughs> I liked Tetris 99. I liked Mario 35. I, I didn't play Pac-Man 99 all that much because I'm just not really that great at Pac-Man. To be honest, I've never really clicked with the F-Zero. I was playing the N64 one at some length the other night. And uh, it was yeah. okay. It was fun. It was definitely yeah, like a cool N64 racer. But there's something about, I don't know, I haven't, like, my imagination is not captured by F-Zero for some, especially the SNES yeah. one. I, I don't like any of those Mode 7 games. And I, I, I so, it, you know, F-Zero 99, since it's in that style, it doesn't really excite me. I haven't played it. But, I, yeah, again, yeah, I, I, I'm like you. If they announced the new F-Zero, I'd be like, okay, sure. Yeah, I, I saw the direct midday. And when I saw it and they put up Princess Peach Showtime and they showed that you she can dress up as a sword fighter, a baker, a detective, and then it's all on a sh- stage. She's putting on like a play almost and it's very child friendly. And I was like, this has my kid's name written all over it, man. And when they said because she, she also loves like the idea of like putting on a show and I, I, I do, yeah, I was I was pretty stoked. And I was like, I got I I got to keep this as a surprise. I'm going to show her when she gets home. And so it was on the way home. It was nighttime. Uh, Nina was like, dad wants to show you a trailer for something. And she comes in the car. She's like, what's the trailer? What's the trailer? And I said, uh, I want to wait until we're home, but you, you can guess. And she was like the Mario two movie. And I was like, that's a pretty good guess, but no. <laughs> um, and she goes, Oh, the untitled peach project. <laughs> um, and I was like, yeah, it is actually. She, she said, did, did they have a title? And I said, yes. And she goes, just tell me the title. And I go, okay. Princess Peach Showtime. <laughs> From the back of the car, she goes... <laughs> I had the, I get it is broken glass for miles. It, it, so excited to hear that. And then we just saw it and she was pretty stoked, but what she's way more, you know, it, so yes, well, the next coming in March, which is good. She won't be 16 by the time it comes out. Um, you know, when, if you do a direct where you say the untitled peach project, it implies to me that like, we're way off. Um, yeah. Cause like game uh, development can take five years or something. You, know? yeah, <laughs> like, you never don't, know. Don't Metroid prime for me here with the peach game. <laughs> The last time we mentioned it, some people were like, well, have her play the DS game, you know, and I'm like 2D platformer where you got to jump over enemies and attack them and stuff. She's just not going to she's not going to hack it. Two screens. <laughs> yeah, it's not. I mean, I think it's a cool game. And I I, I remember I played it in like 07 or something and I really enjoyed it. But um, but honestly, she's like she's a Rosalina girl. Like if they could do a Rosalina game, she'd be much more excited for that. Maybe it'll be a secret character. <laughs> Rosalina's got that kind of Elsa thing, you know? Yeah, definitely. But then a couple of days later, they announced that there's going to be a Bluey video game. And she's way oh. more excited about that. She, she's asked me to, it's a one minute trailer. She has asked me to watch it. Yeah, like like 10 times at least this morning. In fact, she they showed the uh, the physical copy like they were like, get it on Switch and PS5 and whatever. And so she saw the cover and she was like, they already have a poster and a cover for it. Like, that means it's already available. <laughs> I remember <laughs> thinking that when, when you were a kid, they'd be like, get it on home video in a month or something. And you're like, but I'm looking at the home video right now. Can I just have it now? But uh, you you can play as the dad and the mom and the, and the two girls, and you can play together. And that is, that's what she wants. That's all she wants. She wants the role play. That's what this kid wants. 
Uh, other than that, like I don't really care about like Tomb Raider one, two, three, and Luigi. I never played those games. Did you ever play those games? Tomb Raider. I played them. I play. I think I actually had Tomb Raider two, and I thought it was kind of ass. <laughs> I thought yeah. it like played like ass. It's got tank controls. It's. I felt like I was dying every second. So you excited for Trombone Champ? <laughs> What's that? It, it was one of the things they announced and, and everybody got a kick out of it. It's a guitar hero type game with the motion controls. And then, you know, when like the line comes up, you. Uh, your, OK, yeah. And the fact that you're probably going to miss it a little bit means that your like trombone notes are always a little flat <laughs> and they just <laughs> always sound comical. You know, they sound like farts and stuff. And so everybody just thinks it's funny. And it is yeah. funny. <laughs> Raise your brass. Subscribe to Red Cow Entertainment on Patreon for full episodes every other week.